Hello everybody, uh, my name is Sam Shoup, I'm reporting for the Husky Herald and with me today I've got Lydia Tedesi, uh, she's running for ASUWB Executive Representative. Welcome Lydia. Thank you. Alright, um, so just let's get started. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself and, and maybe why you're running for uh, Executive Rep. Okay. Uh, well, I'm currently a junior here in the business program. Uh, my focus is marketing and management. Um, I'm running for ASUWB as Executive Representative. Um, particularly for the director of PR position. Um, I, as you know, am majoring in marketing, so um, I have a lot of skills and experience in that background, and that's something, public relations is something I love to do, so um, decided to run for ASUWB. Great, so why do you think you're best suited for this role? I think I can communicate well with others. Um, I have a, a good, diverse um, background. Um, I feel like I can connect with people. Um, and get out there. I'm, I'm very communicative. Um, I I like talking to people. Um, I just feel like I can I can make sure I hear every voice and bring that voice um, to the administrative um, uh, department. Okay, great. Um, so, what traits do you possess that will enable you to you know work with other members of ASUWB? You don't get to really pick your team in this in this sense. Right. Um, well, I'm I'm a very friendly person. I think at least um, I communicate well, and I have um, uh, experience in the ASUWB. I've helped out with various events, and so I kind of know how things are run. Um, and um, I have I receive a lot of information and find out things that I am more interested in. And um, I know you can't pick your teams, but I I'm, I think I. Cohesive and I work well with others. So. Okay, fantastic. Um, so also, as you know, this is going to take a lot of time if you, if you do get the position. It's, yes. You know, uh, many hours per week. Um, how do you organize your time, or what um, do you believe you'll be able to balance your priorities between work and school? And oh else? yes, I believe so. I'm not a procrastinator at all. Actually, if you ask um, people that know me, um, I'm very um, time management. Time is a very important thing for me. Um, I I work part-time and I go to school and I'm involved in a lot of other activities and I manage that well so I'm sure I can do this as well. Great. So assuming you get this position, that would be good news for you, um, what would be your top three priorities to get accomplished for the year? Um, I definitely want to increase diversity, um, communicate more to the student body of what ASUWB is doing. Um, they've done a great job in the past but I want to increase that and make sure um, a lot of people are aware of ASUWB and are more involved, um, and those are my priorities. Can you explain a little bit more what you mean by diversity? How would you increase that? Or... Um, just more with, we already have a diverse campus. I, I just would like to see a lot more uh, different faces than the, the, um, the regular attendees that we know. Okay. Do you have any sort of uh, initial plans to, to get that ball rolling? Um, I just think communicating to every single club and every student, it, not just maybe people that I know or that um, I know that want to come, and just maybe try to reach out to everybody instead of people that I know are already interested. Okay, great. Um, and how would you inspire the campus community to kind of get involved in, in these projects or uh, help you help them increase the diversity? Um, it's, it's really about interest. The student. The students have to be interested as well. Um, of course, I can't, you know, force anybody. <coughs> but um, as long as they they show an interest, then just going from there and communicating everything and making sure that what we're doing is is things that they want to see happen as well, and because we're here for them as well. So. Okay. Okay. So the final question I've got for you is kind of a philosophical or um, yeah, a little bit of a philosophical question. What do you or who do you think is primarily responsible for the change on campus? Who, who does that start with? Would you say it's with the students, uh, with the faculty, um, the administration, or student representatives? I definitely think it starts with the students. It's all about the, the student body and their ideas and their needs and their wants, and then goes from, then the executives would carry that on and make sure that that is communicated well to the administrative and that there's a good transparency there so that they know what they're looking. But I definitely think it starts with the students because it's, you know, we help the school grow and continue as successful as it is today. Okay, great. Well, thanks for being here today. Thank you. Do you have anything that you'd like to say directly to the student body who will be... Vote Lydia and Allie for exec reps and uh, Amira and Miriam for vice president and president.
Okay, Lydia, thank you for oh, thank you. being here today. Thank you. And stay tuned for more coverage.